Good evening, everybody. We are live here inside the CenturyLink Center, where this evening the 23rd ranked Creighton men's basketball team will take on Providence starting at 8 p.m. But a few hours ago, some news broke off the court that will have Blue Jays fans talking here tonight. Star point guard Maurice Watson Jr., who's already out for the year with a knee injury, has been suspended from all athletic-related activities. The university releasing a statement this afternoon that the suspension is for, quote, alleged actions that are contrary to university policies and core values. Watson will not be allowed to participate in senior day activities next Tuesday for the Jays' final home game. So in the meantime, the Blue Jays will try to put that distraction in the rearview mirror and focus on tonight's game at hand. Creighton hosts a Providence team. It beat on the road by 14 back on January 7th, but that was also when Maurice Watson was in the CU lineup. We were at full strength and uh, playing well. They were struggling at that point. They're a totally different basketball team right now. They've had eight days to get ready, uh, so I'm sure we're going to see some things we haven't seen before. You know, they're a good team, team that's trying to fight to get in the NCAA tournament, make a run in the uh, Big East tournament. So you got to be prepared and keep playing and build on last week's wins. Foster. And again, tonight's game starts at 8 p.m. and can be seen on Fox Sports Midwest. Meanwhile, there's a lot of talk about the future of Nebraska men's basketball coach Tim Miles. According to an article written by Lee Barfnick at the Omaha World Herald, Nebraska Athletic Director Sean Eichhorst would not comment about Miles' future with the program when asked. However, Eichhorst has said in the past he does not comment on any of his coach's job status during the season. The Huskers are 12-14 and 14 this season. I want to be the coach here. Uh, I believe Sean wants me to be the coach here. I believe Mark does. Uh, I, I can, a lot has been made of what hasn't been done, and I want to tell you what has been done. I feel great about the fact that we have a great relationship. We talk on a regular basis. We're always very, uh, he's always very encouraging and positive about what we're doing and the direction we're going. The Huskers are on the road at Michigan tomorrow starting at 6. Meanwhile, the Creighton women's basketball team is still in contention for a Big East championship. The 25th ranked Jays are tied for first in the conference with two regular season games left to go. Jim Flannery's team is back in the top 25 for the first time since 1992. It's really cool. I mean, we've been getting votes for a month and a half now, so I've kind of been waiting for us to crack the top 25, and we finally did it. And um, I mean, it doesn't like change our expectations. Like, we still need to go into this weekend and take it seriously and like finish. You know, it's brought a lot of conversation. And I got a lot of texts and emails and so that's good. I mean, it, it's not going to mean anything when the ball gets tipped on Friday night. The Jays are at Xavier on Friday. We'll wrap up the show.